afternoon baseball here on the show ought to be a good one here between the San Diego Padres and the Miami Marlins. Stepping into the box, Juan Ligaris, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Here it comes on one and one. Maybe too much break on the slider, two and one. Well, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Another 2 2 offering. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. On deck, there's Eric Hosmer. A shot down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. And there's one away. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in head to head with Jose Arena. It's been a steady five for nine. He's taken him deep once. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Batting third. The left field. Tommy. At the plate now, Tommy Pham. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now lifted in the air toward the line and right but this will wind up being a foul ball the 2 2 one more time hot shot on the ground is short scooped up over to VR relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired. Digging in, Jonathan VR. They'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1 home. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Dozier barehands it. Got him. Ready now for the Marlins. Miguel Rojas. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. In now, Corey Dickerson. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Here now the 2-2. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. He's set now the pitch now a ball lined to the left side but foul and he lays off here a nice job it's ball four. First and second now with one away so now it'll be the four hole hitter Garrett Cooper here's the one and one pitch Count is two and one. Rojas over at second. Dickerson is over at first with one away. <laughs> two and two. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. And no one can get there. We'll try it again. Two two line to the right side. 
And that is into right field, a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. The third baseman, Brian. Standing in now, Brian Anderson. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge that punch out there as the bases no, remain no, no, no. loaded with two away ah. now. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here's the two and two. High and deep to straightaway right. Myers going back at the track. The wall. Gone! It's a grand slam. Well, it seems like only a couple of minutes ago that we were ready for a hard-fought game. But things have taken a dramatic turn here early. They jumped all over this guy, including that grand slam. And they might not be done yet. Stepping in now, Harold Ramirez. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Lagares is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Batting average for him on the season, standing in the 320s entering action today. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Digging in now for San Diego. Manny Machado. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Everything this guy throws moves. And that two-seamer has a mind of its own. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Hit the other way out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Here's Will Myers. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Myers takes, and this winds up missing ball four. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up the power-hitting second baseman, Brian Dozier. Two balls and a strike to Dozier. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Pitch sharply, but foul down the right side. Here now the 2-2. And a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Jorge Alfaro, two hits and eight tries for the series. The three and one pitch. And he takes ball four. Lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. So here now is the pitcher, Jose Arena. A textbook sack bunt situation here. A 1 1. It's going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. So it's back to the top of the order now. And the switch hitter, Jonathan VR, will be the next to bat. Now the 2-1 pitch. Hit in the air out toward left. Pham is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. 
Up next from Miami, now, Miguel Rojas. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. And the 3 1. Swung on and missed that strike two. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. Casey looking at a fastball to end the inning. Leading off the inning, Francisco Mejia, and they'll need him to get something going here. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. The pitcher, Zach Davies, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. The second for one, and the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Now that Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. The 2-2. We could see in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. After it is Dickerson. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. How about it? The first baseman, Eric Hosmer. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Looked like he was on that one, but it's 1 and 2. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run on first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Into the box now, Tommy Pham. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring in Garrett Cooper. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Oh, good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Wow, I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So one out now for the Marlins in their half of the third, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Brian Anderson. The 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. There's ball four. Stepping up now, Matt Joyce. He went deep for a grand slam in his first at bat. Hey, there haven't been a lot of runs scored in this one, but with one swing of the bat, he was able to drive in four in his last one. That was a huge grand slam that he did. Dozier on to Hosmer, a double play, and that ends the inning. Up 
Next is Fernando Tatis Jr. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 2 1 home. Now that's popped up. Anderson is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Here's Manny Machado now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Machado. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The 1 2. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Line towards center field. Joyce is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. The right fielder. Number so here's Will Myers. Will. He's driven in three runs on three hits so far in the series. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Ready now, Harold Ramirez. He flew out in his last at bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. In for strike two. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. This is popped up. Hosmer is there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So the bases are empty now with one man catcher. gone. And up next Jorge. will be the big catcher, Jorge Alfaro. The 1-1. It's a high drive to left. Back toward the wall, but he's going to run out of room. It's gone! You know, Debo, you're not afforded as many mistakes when you're not throwing that ball in the 90s or above. And this guy needs to be real fine with his location. You know, Dan, that's just a great swing by that hitter right there because when you see low velocity, a guy out on the mound that's not going to blow the heater by you, maybe sometimes you expand the zone. Not the case right there. He set him up. He wanted something over the heart of the plate, and he didn't miss it. It goes to show you you'll take location over velocity any day. That pitch didn't light up the radar gun, but you can't do anything with that as a batter when it's executed in such a good spot. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Catch made there by Hosmer, and there are two gone now. So it's back to the top of the order now, and the switch hitter Jonathan VR will be the next to bat. A swing and a ground ball to third. Machado is there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Brian Dozier at the plate. He'll start off the fifth in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. High and deep to left center field. Dickerson going back. Gone to lead off the inning. Josh Rader, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Number nine, Josh Rader. To the plate now, Francisco Mejia. Still a ball and two strikes. Base is empty here with nobody out. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Ready with another two two. Bouncer to the left side, right to him. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Greg please. Garcia will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number five. 
Greg Garcia. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Gone! At the plate, one Ligaris. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Raider, a right-hander who stands in even six feet. He was a 21st-round pick back in the 2015 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Looking up is the right fielder. Still going back. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. In now, Tommy Pham. Popped him up. Alfaro has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. And it'll be the cleanup spot for the Padres. Fernando Tatis Jr. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Andres Munoz, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 52, Andres Munoz. So now to the plate, Miguel Rojas. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Three and one to the Marlins middle infielder. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right nope. here. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home the half of the fifth underway. The 1-1 one pitch. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. The one two still a ball and two strikes five runs on only four hits and one error so far for the Marlins but this will not elude the right fielders grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out so here's the cleanup hitter Garrett Cooper Garrett Cooper One and one, here it comes. This year against right-handed pitching, Cooper has a 280 batting average. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. At the plate, Brian Anderson. Now batting. The third base. Two out with the man at first. A little bit outside, two and one. Fly ball out to straightaway right. After it is Myers. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Brandon Kinsler takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 20. Brandon. Ready for another chance? Manny Machado, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Left side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. 
the right fielder number four. Will Myers. At the plate now, Will Myers. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Next to the plate for the Padres, Brian Dozier. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot. But listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B. But listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting Francisco Mejia. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Changes up on him but that's in the dirt for the ball. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Reined in. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Here's Matt Joyce now. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Harold Ramirez waits on deck. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Joyce around first. He'll head for second now. And the Marlins have something cooking. It's a leadoff double. Now batting. The right field. Ramirez. Stepping in now. Harold Ramirez. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Nip the corner. Two and two. Five runs, five hits, and one error so far for the Marlins. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Now batting. In now, Jorge Alfaro. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Outside and a full count, three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. But right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. John Birdie will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number five. John. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Mimi Garcia is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Josh Naylor will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Here's Juan Lagares. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The one two popped him up Cooper over to his left he's got it and there are two down now digging in and looking for more Eric Hosmer 
Yeah, and this is the guy for me. I, I think this is the guy in the clubhouse that the guys truly gravitate towards. The total package of Eric Hosmer's game is really special. The count now at two and one. Now here it comes. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he lays off ball four, so now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and up next it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Here's the one and two. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He's got it as the time run is left on base. Greg Stammen gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Jonathan Villar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Digging in, Miguel Rojas, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy wise here. Here comes the payoff pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. At the plate, Corey Dickerson. 0 for 2 on his line this far. Corey Dickerson. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? On to Hosmer, a double play, and that ends the inning. Drew Steckenreiter has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 71. Standing in, Fernando Tatis Jr. He's working on a one for three thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Ready for another Manny. shot now. Manny Machado. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Into right field. That's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. Right fielder. Into the box. Yeah. Will Myers. One attempt, but this one might have too much on it. To second for one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Coming to the plate now. Brian Dozier. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. To third. Over to VR. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in once again, Garrett Cooper. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now at the plate, Brian Anderson. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Anderson. And it's one and two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Still one and two.
Now here's the pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now that Trying to pick things up where we left off. Matt Joyce. He doubled his last time through. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Ryan Stanek comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 55. Ready once again, Francisco Mejia. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Looking up is Joyce. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing, and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Trent Grisham will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number two, Trent Grisham. Ball and two strikes now. Hit on the ground to short. He's got it. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Into the box now. Juan Ligares. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. The 3 1 pitch takes this the other way to right but this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down stepping into the box Eric Hosmer is one away the runner at first represents the potential go ahead score double play is in order however up in the zone for him and he takes a cold strike two before the delivery a check on that go ahead run at first Now the one and two pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Into the box now, Tommy Pham. There are two gone, and the possible go ahead run at first. Ready with the one one. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Fouled away. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Dickerson's there. And that's the third out. Luis Perdomo enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Stepping up to the plate, Harold Ramirez. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 1. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. Dozier fields it cleanly. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Now with the plate, Jorge Alfaro hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. On the move is Ligares. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Francisco Cervelli will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Big hitting for the Marlins. Number 29, Francisco one and two now a ball and two strikes popped up 
Mejia waits on it and no problem with that one as we are headed for extra innings. Adam Conley takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Number 61. At the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. He's working on a one for three thus far. To short. Scooped up. Throw to first gets him. One out here to lead off the tenth. Riding in once again, Manny Machado. He singled his last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. And he hits the corner with that one, two and two. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Full count now. Here's the payoff pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. And he makes the catch in the corner. Now at the plate, Will Myers. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Payoff pitch on its way. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. The batter number one. Stepping in, Brian Dozier. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The one and one pitch. Now here's a line drive, and this is going to get down for extra bases. Go ahead, run, heading for the plate. And the run will score all the way from first. It's now a 6 5 ball game. Into the box now, Francisco Mejia. A dive, but it's off his glove. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Jurickson Profar. We'll see what he can do off the bench as he'll bat with runners at the corners and two gone here. Runners on first and third, two away. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. And he strikes him out here for out number three, but the damage has been done as now they'll need some extra inning heroics to pull this one out. Kirby Yates takes the ball, looking to make sure this game goes no further. Safe situation here in inning number 10. Back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in, Jonathan Villar. It was a walk in his last trip. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. One down. Now in the box, Miguel Rojas. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Digging in to try it again. Corey Dickerson. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Three and one to the Marlins left fielder. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Throw is up the line as it gets away. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying yeah, run will move into scoring three. position at second. Yeah. Cooper. Swing and a liner. Foul. Yeah. 
just missed with the 2 2 count and it runs full now. Brian Anderson will be next. It's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? One there. Back to first. A double play. And with that, the ball game is over. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it. But, hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. A one-run game, 6-5 to five the final today. The San Diego Padres get the win on the heels of four home runs. Luis Perdomo gets the win in relief his second of the year. Kirby Yates earns the save out of the bullpen, his 12th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious San Diego Padres. Six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Marlins, five runs on five hits, two errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 34 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.